Good morning, everybody, on this day after Christmas. This is John Biven from the John Biven Show. And back in the day, I believe I was in fifth grade, we had a parody of the poem The Night Before Christmas that was published in our weekly reader. And I've been racking my brain and trying to remember that poem because I have remembered it all these years. And I figured I'd just kind of read you what <clears throat> what I recall. And uh, I hope you enjoy this. "'Twas the day after Christmas, and all through the house, not a pathway was seen, save for that of a mouse. My sister was hung by the chimney with care, cause Mom needed a rest, for she tore out her hair. All the children were bouncing around on their beds, while visions of murder danced in Dad's head. And Ma in her kerchief and Pa in his cap had just settled in for a much-needed nap, when down in the cellar there arose such a clatter they sprang from their bed to see what was the matter. Away to the staircase they flew like a flash, slipped on the skate, and went down with a crash. The light from the ceiling shone down with a glow on my poor bruised-up folks as they landed below, when what to their watering eyes should they see but their elegant son and some HNO3. In a little old test tube so sparkling and clear, they feared that their little boy's end was quite near. Swifter than lightning, the explosion it came, and my dad and my mother both called their son names. You crasher, you smasher, you knot-headed vixen, just look at this dump. It'll need more than fixin'. From the hole in the roof to the gap in the wall, the smoke was so thick it hung like a pall. As dry leaves before a wild hurricane fly, my poor brother fled from the look in Dad's eye, so away to the housetop the young chemist flew, with my dad in pursuit, and my dear mother too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard a loud crash. I wondered if brother had been made into hash. As I wiped off my head and was turning around, down the chimney came brother, what a horrible sound! He was all black and blue from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all covered with ashes and soot. A bundle of rubble clung onto his back, and he looked like he'd met with a train on a track. My dad's eyes were bloodshot, his dimples were hairy, his cheeks big as cupcakes, and nose like a berry. The stump of a stick he held tight in his fist, and the steam from his ears was as thick as a mist. He was mad as a bull, a right angry old dad. If I'd laughed when I'd saw him, it would have been bad. The look in his eye and the size of his stick soon gave me to know I best head for the crick. He said not a word, but went straight to his work and grabbed my dear brother with an oversized jerk, and laying his offspring right over his lap, proceeded to give him more than one slap. Dad pounced on his son as he let out a yell, but brother escaped, which was just as well. And I heard him exclaim as he sprang o'er the stool, Hey, Merry Yule, dear father, but don't blow your cool. So there you have it. It was written by fifth graders, and it was in my fifth grade, read fifth grade weekly reader back in the day. Have a good day after Christmas. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas and uh, have a Happy New Year. John Biven from the John Biven Show. show. <laughs> it's too early in the morning. Signing off.